In this session, we'll be discussing about how nitrogen fixation takes place in cyanobacteria. So let's see. Cyanobacteria is a cell which is doing photosynthesis. And the time it is doing some normal activities and all, it is called vegetative cell. And let's suppose the cyanobacteria is doing photosynthesis. For photosynthesis, it will have to trap light. And after trapping the light, it will have to convert that particular light to chemical energy. So that CO2 will be taking out this particular chemical energy and will be converting it to the glucose. Now what happens during nitrogen fixation? Because for photosynthesis you require two things. This is PS1 and PS2. Now PS1 and PS2 are photosystems. Both of them, they trap light. This will also be trapping light. This will also be trapping light. When PS1 traps light or PS2 traps light, PS1 after trapping the light makes ATP. PS2 after trapping the light will also form ATP. But apart from ATP, there is oxygen evolution takes place. We talk about the reaction of photosynthesis. The oxygen is coming out, right? So the oxygen is coming out during PS2 reactions only. The reactions are happening on PS2. And because of some reasons, the oxygen is coming out. So this is the time where cyanobacteria is doing photosynthesis. I've told you. Now, the time it is doing photosynthesis, this particular cell is called vegetative cell. Now, let's suppose this cell has to do nitrogen fixation. And now that is what we are talking about. Nitrogen fixation is the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to some usable products where plant can absorb them. Now, this is vegetative cell which is actually doing photosynthesis and it has to do photosynthesis. Now, it will be taking care of nitrogen fixation. And for nitrogen fixation means for, from, for the conversion of N2 to NH3, there is an enzyme required which is called nitrogenase. And nitrogenase cannot function in presence of oxygen. So this form has to be changed in some other form where oxygen availability will not be there. So now what will happen nitrogen fixation for the nitrogen fixation this form will be changing itself that it will be removing PS2 and it will be just having PS1 and this PS1 will be sufficient enough to provide ATP for nitrogen fixation. Since PS2 is not there, oxygen will not evolve. When the oxygen will not evolve, the nitrogenase will function. And when the nitrogenase will function, the nitrogen can be converted down to the usable products which the plant can carry. And that particular form where you don't have PS2, the form of cyanobacteria which is lacking PS2 activity, it's called heterocyst. Remember this particular name, which is heterocyst. So heterocyst, it's for N2 fixation. It happens in Nostoc and Amiena and some other cyanobacteria. But remember, all other cyanobacteria, most of the cyanobacteria, or say mo all the cyanobacteria, they don't form what you call heterocyst. Only some cyanobacteria form heterocyst, not all cyanobacteria form heterocyst. So some cyanobacteria only perform nitrogen fixation because they are forming heterocyst. And all the cyanobacteria will be photosynthetic enough. In this way, when it is doing photosynthesis, it can fix up the nitrogen. Cyanobacteria is most self-dependent organisms. So heterocyst, I have told you that it lacks PS2 activity. I have told you that all the cyanobacteria cannot fix what you call N2. And heterocyst does not perform photosynthesis because photosynthesis cannot be done. There is no PS2. For photosynthesis, you require PS1 and PS2 both. So that since there is no PS2, the heterocyst form will not be doing what you call the normal photosynthesis. You'll have to remember these two names, Olocera and Oscillatoria. They have been asked in exams. So they fix up the nitrogen. They are cyanobacteria. They fix up the nitrogen in paddy fields. Sometimes they will write you rice fields. Sometimes they will write you paddy fields. Remember, Olocera and Oscillatoria, they perform nitrogen fixation in case of rice or paddy fields. In the next session, we'll be detailing you about how reproduction takes place in cyanobacteria.